Well, another video here, guys. We are how to install a trimetric TM2030A Bogart in Engineering. These are very, very, very good machines. Very reliable. You have to know your state of charge. You have to know what's coming in, what's going out on your batteries. This is your best friend right here. I'm telling you folks, don't take the risk. Don't take the risk at all. Running your system, if you're off-grader, without having this guy. Because you know what's gonna happen? You ruin your batteries, you ruin your investment, you destroy everything that you work for. But, so far so good. My friend here, Stevie, we decided to take the initiative. He wasn't seeing this coming, but um, I just texted him the information. So he said, I think it's an int. I think you want me to get that stuff, don't you? I was like, I'm not telling you what to do, but you can, if you need your batteries, you want to work with them, look at them guys over there smiling. A lot of investment on those. Eight batteries. It's a lot. 605 amp hours. So, here we went to the store. Nicole, I don't know. We're going to use this guy right here to mount this guy right here. So, I don't know if that's the name. Do it out lead box whatever it is but um i think that's what we're gonna find um interesting or what we're gonna find um um to work with our system here so looking at this at the store we don't have the opportunity to open this box like we just did here so we we'll see if this everything's gonna line up here take a look and see if um oh perfect Look at that, everything correspond. Look at the holes, zero out. Excellent. That's the one. I don't know the name, but I've seen it. Um, we said that's what you need. So this is what exactly we're gonna mount it on. And uh, everything lined up really straight. Well, we have the screws here. I don't know if we have enough. It's only about probably two. <laughs> Two of them all right it's gonna look uh kind of a little bit crazy unless we have to go uh from this side to that side to hold it we can put it on the top but this thing can monitor your batteries the amps the volts kilowatt state of charge the last time you charge your batteries it's gonna tell you when last you charge your batteries and when your batteries went to float when your battery went to absorb it tells everything so folks how many kilowatts you making it just like right now we uh um we have to install with bank junior so it's almost a similar thing so you read the, all the specs there by yourself for yourself sorry and see um days since it was last charge look at right there it tells you how many amps left for you um for your battery to get uh filled up and all the good stuff so let's see how things gonna go from here while we installing this and stay tuned because we're gonna we're gonna be bringing you more from this channel well i know there are a lot of guys there with the awesome videos with this and um, they work for them well so we want to try that as long as we have the sun right now and see how things go it comes with a little um fuse inside the box these are the, all the things that comes with it comprises of and you will see um a little fuse which is a an amp one amp fuse well you can't say one amp you can just say an amp okay you can say that too if you want to i'm just kidding so an amp and um here's the box it's supposed to be fused because if anything happened like a search or whatever instead of blowing up this device right here and it's just gonna protect it with this little tiny guys here so they it comes with two of them and you unlock this thing and put it right away inside and I'll show you how things go right away as we go with the installation live from JW Solar USA stay tuned and uh, we'll be bringing you all the latest coming from the Bogart engineering 
trimetric 2030A. Well, connections already happening here. Those are the wires we choose for um, the install wires. So I hope this is going to help somebody. And these are all the instructions. We use that kind of thing. We put a kind of little notch right there so that if someone yanked the wire, it's not going to break these wires right here. And we're using a CAT6 wire. We terminated uh, four wires because of eight wires total. So this is uh, the connection we are, are set up. The orange is going to be like the positive. There's a mark right there came with it. So, and all the ones according to the instruction, we'll let you know when we get done. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe.